Titanus dog is actually the son of Godzilla. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a second. What are we talking about? Today we get to see everything there is to know about Titanus dog and his dark secret truth will be unveiled. So let's go. Bro, well, it's made by Goji Central. Like, we don't even need to fact check anything. The Titanus dog. Oh my, bro. I'm so happy we got to see him in Godzilla X Kong. And we'll be able to learn all sorts of. Oh. Oh. Seems as if we may not have a facility here big enough to host this guy. This guy is too, bro. I Tim gotta get him in the channel, one. guys. Subscribe. Yeah, hit that subscribe button. And if Maybe this video gets 5,000 likes, I'll Coming bring up, Dog on the channel. Doug explained. The monster Apparently, the has expanded with the announcement and partial release of MonsterVerse Declassified, a book What's covering that? expanded lore on some of the Titans, including Behemoth, Tiamat, Ooh. Doug, and a new mystery Titan that will be covered here on this channel. Oh my Today, bro, I'm watching it. The moment it comes out, I'm watching it. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. We already know about this scaly quadruped and uncovering some new facts and abilities that we learned Ooh. in this new graphic novel. Oh my bro, bro, okay, he turned into the Spider Man has not really been revealed yet by legendary so we'll be referring to this fella as doug or scaly quadruped scaly no 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 titanus dog is the name like titanus dog is its name i don't care if i'm not calling him scaly's quadruped what is even that looking at the size of this monster kong from gvk to gxk these creatures can fall into the 60 to 90 foot range in height depending on their posture hold on they're actually kind of massive what next to this 98 foot tall statue from rio de janeiro Brazil. Yeah, these animals can grow this large. Lengthwise, we find that these things can easily exceed the 500 foot range, making them many, many Bro, times longer. I wonder the if they have like an atomic beam like Godzilla from his dorsal whale, place. Or if, bro, imagine, in wait, ocean, hold on, can the Titanus dog swim? No way, right? Like to imagine that these would possibly be great swimmers given their lizard like what? And because of their suspected genetic heritage, <laughs> let us explain. What is that, bro? In the official art book of Godzilla vs. Kong, we find that the the creators of the fauna down here in the hollow earth saw these scaly quadrupeds as Ooh. ancient offshoots of the evolutionary tree that brought forth titanus gojira yo so he is related to godzilla these creatures would adapt better to crawling on all fours robust limbs and strong jaws to bite through the armored shells of their prey and keeping some characteristics reminiscent of godzilla himself Ooh. such as some of the spikes on their backs oh my Literally please tell me he has an atomic beam we gotta see a dog with atomic beam godzilla suggesting that these two would absorb the radiation from this energy-rich environment. Their bodies, however, were not able to harness and wield this energy like Godzilla. These guys, as far as we know, are not armed with atomic breath, like oh. their more powerful distant cousin. Nah, I don't want to play it. I don't want to watch this video animal. anymore. They don't have atomic beams. And a lot of the time are seen by them oh. looking for an easy meal. I didn't even in spot Godzilla them in the trailer. The what? Empire, we saw Doug once again snatch a wart dog carcass from Kong. Even though Kong may have won this tug of war match with the scaly quadruped, the fact that it was still able to pull the carcass and Kong himself suggests that these guys are exceptionally <laughs> I love strong Kong's creatures, face in that, like... despite their appearance and yeah. mischievous attitude. Bro. Speaking of which, this is a good time to start discussing MonsterVerse Declassified section on Titanus. Doug. Ooh, okay. I'm so happy when they re re release like official stuff, so we don't have to guess and we can just to read the books and know. For a full review and story walkthrough, be sure to check out this video by our friends at Dangerville. The story takes us to where these animals use usually rest, cavernous locations perched in the high mountain terrain in the hollow earth. Upon waking up, an animal this big is going to need a lot of food to keep it running. Fortunately, down here in the hollow earth, we don't have a shortage of food. After sliding down a large valley, Doug <laughs> finds what at this point is probably his favorite foods, rock claws. Oh Again, man, bro, this is like his favorite. Food. We gotta try those, bro. I wonder if they're like delicious. These guys are actually huge and will probably make you shit your pants if one pulls up on you. Yo, they're actually kind of huge. The size of a semi truck, so you can imagine just how big all the other animals are down here. But they're easily crushed by Doug, who then gets distracted by another situation happening nearby. Yeah, just like the predator-prey relationships in the surface world, down here in Hollow Earth, something is almost always getting killed, or in the process of. This animal here is known as a wart dog. For oh, are, are these the Godzilla things we saw? Yeah, there we go. We saw them. These canine-like creatures, when hunting in packs, are a real terror in the Hollow Earth. 
only an intelligent and crafty titan like Kong could survive an encounter with almost two dozen war dogs. Oh. Alone, they may not be strong enough to take down a giant ape, but something like Doug? Well, then here we may have a problem. No, 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 I want to see them against Doug. I think Doug can easily beat but them, based right? On their appearance and stature next to Kong, we may be having another case of an animal that looks small, but is actually pretty huge. See for yourself. Here you see that the height of these wart dogs is around the height of Kong's waistline. Depending on their posture, these are Oh my the god, I want to see this war dog versus Titanus dog. More. I'm going for my boy dog. Dog easily can beat these wolves. And cornering their prey where there is no escape. Tearing them up using these really long canines capable of piercing deep into flesh. With lots of these biting down on the victim, any titan that falls prey to these war dogs will exit this oh. world in pain. Unless you're able to fly like this oversized giant leaf wing. Leaf wings, according to Monarch's dossier, have wingspans between three to five feet. Having discussed how big war dogs and scaly quadrupeds were, this one is simply massive. Back to the story, Doug continues his path in search of more food. Doug just Suddenly looked at it, he's like, nah, I'm good, I don't want to find that, and then left. Chasm. Having survived this fall thanks to its noteworthy endurance, Doug showcases another interesting talent. The I ability think... to climb very large and steep surfaces. Oh, hold on, we got Spider-Man Doug before GTA 6? What? Only to once again get distracted by the sight of the wart dog and giant leaf. Oh my god, these guys are still fighting. Come on, bro. See, we are starting to understand that Doug and maybe the other scaly quadrupeds are beginning to show signs of ADHD, attention <laughs> deficit hyperactivity <laughs> disorder. And we haven't seen the last of this. Just keep watching. No Doug way. can be mischievous at times. Upon seeing these two go at it again, the best idea this fella's brain can conjure is to interfere. No way he's going to actually fashion, fight. Ooh. By hurling a boulder that oh. could potentially have weighed many dozen tons. An attempt to hurl it at the wart dog. But due to Hollow Earth's wonky gravity, this rock ends up falling right back at Doug's head. But this guy <laughs> won't give up. Using a colossal no. branch as a sort of catapult, Doug manages to hurl himself Bro, what is Doug doing? Ain't no way, bro. Dog, what are you this doing? Chaos once again takes form as a chase. The wart dog focused on his target, while the easily distracted Doug now finds something else to do. Chase these two down. What is this, this chase, bro? He's below. chasing like After three different what people. Like to be under the wart dog's claw infested foot, Doug decides to keep running. And you guessed it, got distracted again. This time bro. attracted by the nice warm nah. temperatures and high energy levels at the peak of this volcano. Bro, he's Climbing going to a volcano. Oh my, he's going to cook there. himself. This he's literally going to burn himself in lava. He had some company making its way up there. The fast leaf wing leads the wart dog up the mountain as well, where Doug was minding his own business. Eventually, this wart dog's attention would deviate to a much more slower and beefier prey animal. A wart dog and an animal like Doug would be around the same size, meaning that this wart dog saw a potential meal ahead of him. And finally, almost like clockwork, Titanus Doug gets distracted one last time in this story. <laughs> and this one perhaps a lucky occurrence that may have just saved his life. Ooh. Upon seeing a giant dragonfly pass by, Doug gets distracted despite being in immediate life-threatening danger. No, bro, and he's about to, to die, after and he starts fly. chasing a Meanwhile, butterfly. The oh, Doug's bro, what is wrong with too Doug? Much to prevent him from slipping, and unfortunately for this wart dog, it ended up getting a mouthful of red molten. No, this dog literally got saved because flesh, he was distracted. That, 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 you can't make this up, bro. <laughs> oh, why? Today, we learned that in this world full of horrific creatures and terrors, skill and combat ability is not always what ends up giving you the upper hand. Bro, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta go with it. Is just good luck. <laughs> bro, I love Dog, man. I think he's one of the best characters in the entire monsterverse.